are live. All right, Kayla again, and I am doing number two point or er, lesson two point five, number thirteen. And so, what this question is asking is to find where um, it is the graph is discontinuous. So, oops. okay, at what points are the functions continuous? So if we take a look at this equation right here, we can tell that that's a, a linear equation. Or no, it's not linear. 3x seems to be linear. Yes. Okay. Well, to be completely honest, I went just like Lauren did, and I plugged this into Desmos. And um, this is the graph that we're looking at mm -hmm. for this um, equation. So what this is saying, so Basically, there's a discontinuity at two because these two graphs do not, although it may not look like it, these two graphs do not um, occur at two. So, and that makes sense because if you're plugging in here, you'll you'll if you plug in two, you'll get a zero on the bottom, which um, means that the limit does not exist. So, why not? Yeah, I I agree with that. If you wanted to do that. Um, just as a purely algebraic problem without looking at decimals, the argument would be that polynomials are continuous on their domains, and rational functions are continuous on their domains, and the difference of two continuous functions is continuous. So this function must be continuous everywhere it's defined. So where would it not be continuous? Well, we see this division by x minus two, and we recognize that two gives us a division by zero. So it can't be continuous at two. Yeah. 